Hi guys, it's Amy. I wanted to share something with you today. So, and I'm gonna start with a question. Have you ever been digging through some old packed away boxes or something in the closet, something that you've totally forgotten about, and come back years later and you find something in there that's so sentimental and so personal to you that it just brings back a flood of good memories and it's just packed with that special something for you. Well, I just found one of those and I came back from college and after a long time of not seeing some of these um, items in a box, I actually like came across one that I wanted to share with you. And that is um, this scarf that I actually brought. This one isn't the exact one I was going to show you, but it's a symbol of something similar. I actually uh, did knit a scarf out of real fur, and this fur came from my dog. Uh, I know that's a little strange, but there's a lot of reasons why I decided to do that. And when I was a kid, uh, but when he was alive about 10 years ago, I was very close to this to this dog. He was a beautiful, beautiful white dog with black skin, kind of like a Great Pyrenees, but more rare. And it was a European dog named a Kuzvas. So the breed originates from Europe, and they use them for as dogs of war. These dogs are extremely protective. They're very loyal to the family. And in fact, they were actually also used for hunting dogs to take down bears in teams of two. And so one dog would attack the other one while the other one is distracting. And they'd switch like that until they pretty much took down the bear. So they're very tactful, very loyal. They were very close, um, excuse me. The dog was very close to me and my family and my best friend in fact, but also very, very much a terror to any intruders that wanted to come to the house, which also kind of made it a little harder to have sleepovers. But in all in all, this dog was amazing. He dominated the backyard, protected us, and pretty much, long story short, um, he would he would be guarding the, the backyard to the point that uh, a possum might get in the yard and he would tear it up and we would have to go clean that. So, oh my gosh, we can't take this dog in public without some creative ways to manage him. So we got this spike collar and the spikes were angled inward towards his neck and the harder he would pull when we walked him because he got excited so that would make it actually constrict a little tighter around his neck basically after that method failed because it barely phased him he was just incredibly powerful we just decided okay let's just why don't we make him into uh, like a kind of a fun dog and attach him to a carriage and have the kids ride him so he would pull a carriage and we would just have fun just our favorite toy and that went for a short amount of time but it came to a point where we were like oh my goodness okay so we need to we need to uh just take him as a as a protective agent and just um travel with him only when we have to travel with him if we can't get anyone to watch him while we go on vacations and he'll come with us and so we were in Lake Tahoe this one time and I remember uh, we were freezing in the cabin because the cabin was a hundred years old no heater and I'm just like desperate for warmth and so I remember I did spend the night on the kitchen floor sleeping with the dog and I swear to you he must have saved my life because it was just that cold and I was the only one in my family who didn't contract pneumonia so I'm like okay this dog's really meant for like some extreme weather so with all those reasons all those little mini stories kind of add up to the reason why I wanted to make a scarf and I I was the one in charge of pampering him and I would brush him and I would acquire about nine bags full of fur every time I brush the dog and that's when I started to weave it together and knit into a scarf and I gave it to my dad for Christmas. All in all, the scarf to me is a representation of my guardian angel and all the good memories I had with my family dog before he passed. And I wanna encourage you all to hang on to those very special memories that, or any kind of like personal item of value to you, anything that makes you smile in the future, just hang on to those because you never know when you look back and you want to remember all those good times. Thank you guys.